evening our viewers and yet again welcome to the five minutes with Zikta, a program designed to share information with you our stakeholders on just the many things that Zikta has been uh, up to uh, within the year and yes we are yet again at our lovely venue at the Ridgeway Southern Sun Hotel and they've been our greatest host and we're very very thankful today we are with our big brother uh, our line ministry and that's the Ministry of Transport and Communication. And with me, I'm with an evergreen young gentleman. And uh, I'd like to welcome you to the program. Uh, I've got Austin Sichinga, the Principal Communication Officer from Our Line Ministry. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mafia. We are very grateful for having us uh, along on your five minutes uh, with the consumer out there. It's fantastic. You know, a lot of people actually look at Zikt and they don't know that we've got Big Brother. When you have Big Brother, it means you have to do things that Big Brother is happy with. And I know that uh, the ministry has had a lot of uh, initiatives uh, being, uh, you know, the custodians of the policies that we implement. And we usually come to Riaz and share information. Maybe you just want to touch on a few things that you, uh, the Department of Communication from the ministry is looking at and now we're working with Zikta. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, what uh, I would pick up uh, from what Mr. Tsala has just said, uh, we have the ICT policy that governs the general policy on ICTs for the entire country and as the ministry we are the custodians that ensure that there is a, a favourable policy environment to support industry and growth, uh, learning, uh, commerce and trade uh, in the country. The policy has been around from uh, the year 2006 and it uh, deals with the 13 pillars of our economy, mining, agriculture, learning, etc. What we have been doing uh, in the recent past is ensuring that we have a favorable environment for uh, different market players to enter into the market and contribute significantly in terms of growing businesses, uh, uh, providing services to consumers and uh, making sure that there's a regulatory environment that favors both the consumer and, and, and the users uh, and the providers of the ICT products. Just there, and, so. and that is where I'm really interested in. What you've just said, remember it, us even as regulators, one of our greatest jobs is to ensure that the environment is favorable for the investor as well as the consumer. And this balance is what we really need to get very, very correctly. You know that uh, this year, there's been a lot of pronouncements on how the ICT sector can actually be used as an enabler. And not only that, we also know that it's um, the very pivotal aspect of uh, business processes and socio-economic development. And I know with the ministry, we've, we've worked hand in hand on a lot of projects. And I know that we've also been sitting on the same uh, uh, you know, programs, for instance, the e-government now, the Smart Zambia, and uh, you know, the ministry has really been holding our hand as a, as a regulator. Uh, what I just wanted you to actually maybe talk into, so people really believe that we work mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. there's some of the initiatives that we're working on. For instance, when we look at uh, the postal regulation just came out, uh, what, what, what nice way to begin 2017? Exactly. Uh, we've, uh, for the viewers out there, you, you, you be very delighted to know that we've not had uh, regulations in the postal sector and uh, as of 2016 we've had a brand new regulation that will ensure that there's some orderly uh, performance and uh, management of business in the sector so that uh, is surely going to grow the sector and provide easier entry and orderly entry for any players to come in the sector. Uh, touching on one issue you mentioned, the Smart Zambia initiative, I think uh, you will all notice that uh, the President, uh, His Excellency Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, has predominantly spoken about how ICTs are at the center of the social economic uh, benefits that everyone will be able to see. And we as government are priming uh, with, obviously, in collaboration with the regulator to ensure that. ICTs are used in everyday life, the way we transact with government, we are calling on businesses also to come in and ensure that they provide more platforms on electronic uh, basis so that people can get services and interact with them uh, on a fairly efficient and transparent manner. Actually, you know, it's always interesting and you sitting with me here 
we should have called it the 55 minutes with Zikta. But as usual, it's a five minutes with Zikta. And people should look forward where we're going to obviously have a full documentary on the various initiatives that have happened uh, in the past years, including 2016. That has been you know, a memento year uh, on a number of initiatives supported by government as well and being pioneered by His Excellency the President, uh, uh, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu. I would like to go back to my viewers and say this is all the time we had as usual, but we give you a test. And we'll be back with you next week with the same five minutes with, with Victor to try and give you a few insights on what we're doing. Good evening.